Oh, it's a nice Friday evening out there. Clear skies, not dealing with any rain. So that's good news if you have any evening plans. So not too bad. Temperatures in the upper 50s here. And Bryan College Station, 59 degrees. Look at that dew point, 50 degrees. Those southeasterly winds continuing to pump in that moisture here across the Brazos Valley. So it's holding those temperatures up at this hour. Really, everybody in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Warm spot getting checking in at 63 degrees. Some of these temperatures are actually going to increase as we head throughout the overnight hours as a warm front starts to lift in from the south and the west and that's going to create an uptick in the cloud cover. Maybe a little bit of drizzle along this warm front early tomorrow morning and then we're going to see a few showers as well by late morning early afternoon. I think most areas are going to remain dry, but if you see a couple of raindrops hit the windshield, just know it's that cold front that's starting to work its way into the Brazos Valley. So I would wait to wash your car tomorrow until either the late evening hours or maybe do it on Sunday when we have adequate sunshine out there because once this cold front passes through the Brazos Valley, we're actually going to see an uptick in the wind. So there could be a little bit of dust out there. So just wait to wash your car until we head into uh, Sunday. And then behind that cold front could actually see some clearing skies by the evening hours before that sun sets. And uh, it's going to be pretty nice out there. How much rain are we going to see? Well, really not too much. Models are indicating most areas aren't going to see much at all. But if you see a few raindrops out there, just know that it's going to be temporary and it's quickly going to move off to the east. So I wouldn't cancel any of your weekend plans. Now, Despite the cold front working in, we're going to see temperatures pretty mild out there. Even beginning tomorrow morning, those temperatures are actually going to climb during the overnight hours. So we're in the upper 50s right now. And Bryan College Station looks like by early tomorrow morning, we're going to warm up into the low 60s as this warm front drapes itself across the area. It's going to continue to lift toward the north, and those temperatures are going to warm up tomorrow afternoon. Mid 70s are in the forecast despite that cold front moving through. So get outside and enjoy it. It's going to be the perfect day to either mow the yard or to go out on a walk. So I suggest getting outside soaking up this nice weather because it's going to be just a touch cooler out there by Sunday because the cooler air will finally filter into the Brazos Valley behind this cold front. Those highs are going to be a good 10, maybe 15 degrees cooler than what we're going to deal with on Saturday. The next storm system we're keeping an eye on. We got to wait all the way until this time next week. Thursday, Friday time frame is when we're going to see an upper level low work its way into Oklahoma, and that's going to kind of help pull in some moisture into eastern parts of the state. Generally, along into the east of I-35 is where there's that best chance for the showers right now. Still several days out, but we're going to continue to monitor this. I think the Brazos Valley has a good shot to at least see some light rain. And then as you get east of I-45, the Piney Woods of Texas, Arklatex region, a pretty good chance for maybe some showers and storms. Right now, severe threat is low, but we need to keep a close eye on it, especially for the Mid-South. That's where it looks like there may be some better moisture, better instability, kind of energy for the storms, for some stronger ones. But we'll continue to keep an eye on this over the next few days. If this system were to maybe slow down a little bit, it's possible we need to extend these rain chances a little bit farther west, and then maybe that could increase our thunderstorm risk here in the Brazos Valley. Again, this is going to be next Thursday. Friday time frame, so we'll continue to keep an eye on this over the next few days, but the rain chances looking pretty meager uh, for the Brazos Valley tomorrow, about a 20 to 30 percent chance. No rain chances, though, as we head into Sunday with those temperatures falling into the 60s for high 60s stick around on Monday. Then those temperatures rebound, finally getting back into the 70s on Wednesday and Thursday before the next cold front moves through Tristan. And this one could pack a punch. We actually may see those highs fall into the 50s to end the week. And next weekend, looking like it could be kind of chilly. I think we can handle some 50s. I think yesterday's brisk, brisk weather. If I can handle that yesterday, I think I can handle some 50s. Tristan, I'm ready for spring. After tomorrow, come back and let me know if you're ready for 50s. Because it's going to be like 75 out there tomorrow. So I'm not ready for a big cool down. Well, me, uh, yeah, me either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Christopher. More KX coming back to the break.